We don't really know what a second Biden term would look like. We hardly hear from the president. And then when we do, he's just trying to convince us our problems aren't real. Trump, on the other hand, he's an open book. Job number one is going to be, and as soon as we take office, we will seal the border. Is that okay? And we're going to stop the invasion and send Joe Biden's illegal aliens back home. In Texas, a smuggler was trying to outrun authorities, veering his truck off the road, then taking off on foot. When the troopers searched the truck, they found 23 illegals under the flatbed. The smuggler's still on the loose. There was also a shootout in a bar in San Juan, Texas. Two of the people arrested were later detained by ICE, probably illegals. In New Mexico, Fox's drones caught coyote scouts on the top of a mountain spying on law enforcement down by the border. And then they started pelting rocks at our drones. Look at this guy. Woo! Nice try. We told you how in New York police were called when a migrant was getting violent at a hotel turned shelter. Cops tried to detain the illegal but were swarmed by migrants trying to protect the perp, blocking the doors so police couldn't haul the alien out. The chaos continued outside, where a female migrant launched her body onto the cop's car to stop police from opening the door. She tried assaulting the officers before she was restrained and then arrested. Move out the way. Now, if Trump's elected, you're going to see a lot of deportation videos that may look a little like that. And the media is going to melt down. Doug the Bounty Hunter is the author of Nine Lives and Counting, a bounty hunter's journey to faith, hope, and redemption. Doug, before we get to the book, which is fantastic, we got it right here. Thank you. Pre-order on Amazon. And while you're at it, you can go get, get it together, you know. Yeah. <laughs> when you approach these people, whether they're migrants or outlaws. Yes, sir. This is what we're going to be looking at. Do you have any advice for Donald Trump if he assumes office again? <laughs> <laughs> is he going to make you deportation czar? I would like a job like that. <laughs> and it doesn't matter who you are, what, what nationality, what tribe you belong to. If you're a lawbreaker and you're in this country illegal, and you were booted from another country because you were a felon and told to go to America, that's where we're going to start, is the high priority, the top of the echelon. And they are going back and or they're going to jail. When I first started bounty hunting 45 years ago, there were two bounty hunters. Today, there's 6,500. You have, there's new laws. You can't be convicted of a felony in the last 10 years. We use non-lethal weapons that'll drop a mule. So get ready. <laughs> what kind of non-lethal weapons would you use? Well, the newest one they've got is the new pepper ball gun, and it's designed to spin the body, and it does not enter if you, unless you, you I had to take a 40-hour course, you cannot shoot above the neck or it would kill them. So pop, pop, and they're down. That's it. And what you want to do is put the person down to cuff them and then go from there. Right. This is obviously... Uh, the last tactical resort. We're not advocating just hitting people with pepper no, guns. No, but, but... But Dog knows how to get things done, and you've yes, shown sir. how to do it in the past. The book is out. It's going to be out tomorrow, Nine Lives and Counting. Tell us why this book is so important for people to buy. Well, it talks about my life and my walk with Jesus Christ. And uh, I'm going to cry. I'm sorry. Oh. I, I, uh, it was very, a lot of people helped me write it. And I was thinking, you know what, I've put over 10,000 felons in jail. And now Francie and I start speaking to 
people in the churches, and you know the story about the two felons that were crucified with Jesus. One of them said, ah, if you're God, you'd get off the cross, and the other one said the two words, remember me. And Jesus said, today you're going to eat dinner with me and my daddy. And so I'm supposed to follow the steps of Jesus as I be Christ-like. So I'm going to take as many felons to heaven that I can, and this book's going to help me. It's like a calling card. Here, felon, read that. <laughs> and I don't mean just necessarily a felon, a felonious person, but, you know, a lot of people committed felonies and haven't got caught. So my job now is to get them to heaven. I love you, dog. I love you, brother. I love this book right here, Nine Lives and Counting. Get it on Amazon right now, and it's a good thing you're wearing sunglasses. No, I don't cry all the time. <laughs> uh, I so do you, and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> don't out me, Doug. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thanks very much. Aloha. Thank all you. All right. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.